Hello Handy Quilters, I'm Mitzi and I'm Rhonda and we thought it would be fun to get together to talk about our Handy Quilter experience. So we've both been on our Handy Quilter journey for about the same amount of time mm -hmm. and so we thought you might enjoy uh, and appreciate learning some of the things that we have learned, some of our aha moments from the year. And so Mitzi, um, what's something that stands out to you? What, what is a technique or a uh, something along your journey that really stands out that we'd all appreciate. Well, you might find this kind of silly, but it's the miracle of piano keys. Okay. And so you might think, well, what do piano keys have to do with quilting? Right. So tell us. Well, uh, piano keys are just a technique of sewing straight lines that resemble piano keys in your borders. And they look really pretty, but they have a secret effect. Oh, okay. And that is that they can, you can take up a lot of excess fabric by sewing the piano keys uh, closer together or farther apart, depending on how much you need, and you can take care of a wavy border. Okay, and well, we've all probably had a wavy border before. Mm -hmm. Whether it was our own or maybe a customer. Okay, that's a really good one. Thanks. So what was one of your aha moments? You know, when I, I'm still pretty new to to long arm quilting uh, and I would never been to a major quilt show before mm -hmm. so this fall I went to the Paducah show mm -hmm. and what what really stands out for me about that experience is having never been to a major show I'd never been exposed to the level of quilting that I saw there mm -hmm. and so as I as I went through the exhibits I was so inspired by what I saw and and probably as much as anything, I was so amazed at what quilters can accomplish. You know, some of these things that I, some of the quilting that I saw, some of the techniques that I knew had, that I knew had been used, I just came away with new vision and new thought about what I could someday accomplish. So that, that really stands out to me as a meaningful part of my journey is learning what other people can really bring to the table with quilting. Well, that's, it's really exciting to go see those beautiful quilts. Oh, I can't wait to go to my next one. I know. I aspire to be one of those people. Absolutely. One of these days. Absolutely. So, I saw that you have a new addition to your quilting studio. Yes, I do. I have the Fusion with Pro Stitcher. And I'm sure you've had some aha moments with that, even though I know you've only had it a few months. Yes. It's been a great artistic tool. Um, and has really upped my creative game. I'm finding that I'm not just using Pro Stitcher alone, I'm incorporating my ruler work and mm -hmm. free motion with the precision of the Pro Stitcher, and I'm coming out with a much more customized look. Well, and I've seen some of the things that you have done, and she's absolutely right. It's just a beautiful blend of the, the two disciplines, if you will. Right. I don't want to give up my ruler work or my mm -hmm. free motion because I really enjoy that. So what's another one of your takeaways from this year? I think that the Inspiration Squad was sort of a, became a, an instant built-in quilting community for me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for example, Mitzi and I, we've really bonded and created a, a great friendship, but I've learned so much and, and I've learned faster, I've learned more, I've tried more techniques and bless her heart. We have burned yeah. up the phone lines yeah, for sure. Yeah, we, we have, but all in the interest of being better quilters. That's so, right. So having those people uh, to encourage me and build my confidence has been tremendous. And you know, if I had to encourage you in something this year, is that you surround yourself with your own inspiration squad. I, I just can't say enough about how that has influenced uh, my, my quilting. So that would be a big one for me. Oh, I think that's important for anyone. Mm -hmm. If you just look out in your community and find a quilting guild or just some friends with similar interests. Right. It, you, you just it don't have to have a, even a, a formal near you group. You could be online with a group as right. well. Good so. idea. So what's something new this year that you want to focus on? Well, I think I'm going to try to spend more time on my Pro Stitcher in simulation mode. So oh, okay. Um, I don't have Pro Stitcher. What does that mean? What, what simulation is simulation mode? mode? Well, simulation mode is the coolest thing. You can put your Pro Stitcher program on your laptop or just take your tablet off of your machine 
go to the comfort of your easy chair in your living room okay. or wherever, and you can design and plan your quilt layouts. Long before you have long to. Long before okay. you're standing at your machine. That makes a lot of sense. So then what? So you take your layout plan and it's so much easier to transition that into actual quilting on your machine. Okay. So I'm going to spend some time perfecting that new skill. All right. It's a great one. What do you think you'll be doing? Well, back to Paducah. Mm -hmm. um, when I was there, I saw an award-winning quilt that had been quilted with a lot of micro stippling and micro quilting. Mm -hmm. And I have the micro handles and mm -hmm. I've used them some, but I've just not uh, perfected that by any means. And so I really want this year to uh, continue to work on my ruler game for sure, but also I want to pick up those micro handles and learn to do some of that really fine mm -hmm. quilting because it, what I saw was how that could really um, pop some elements in a quilt Mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to just, you know, kind of our general overall quilting. So that's something I really want to learn. That sounds like a good plan. So our theme for the year has been Quilt Your Desire. And we'd like to encourage you to set some goals and learn some new techniques. And perhaps most importantly of all, we encourage you to get out there and create your very own inspiration squad. Mm -hmm.